Oh, yes. So, uh, what about it, Jamie? Is he off, Harry? Um, what's what oh. Tottenham going to do? Listen, I don't care. I look at the table, and Daniel might say, or they say, well, it wasn't that bad. Da, 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 da. Come on. It's been pants this year, hasn't it? Let's be honest. They need, I think, they honestly need a whole new back four and a new midfield. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a massive rebuild. We know that. It was poor last night. It was shocking. I mean, finally, we get the, the fans back in the ground, you know, a bit of atmosphere. You know, could have put on a bit of a show at least, but it was so dire and so sort of flat. Uh, and might as well, you know, it was just, it was a pathetic performance again. But it was, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed a little bit, Al, because there's been a lot of talk about Harry Kane and the whole situation. And it, all of a sudden, it's everywhere and we've all got to talk about it. I'm actually a bit disappointed, Al, in the way that it's come out. You know, imagine leaking a story. It hasn't come from Spurs. Yeah. Imagine leaking a story with two massive games left. Now... You know, I, I, you know, the timing of it, I think, is really bad on, on, the, on his agent's behalf. And I think his agent's his brother. And, you know, we all know that he potentially wants to leave and he wants to go. And it looks like it's going to happen. So, and I, I, where he goes is another, is another story. But I was just a bit disappointed how it's all just come out. And we've all got to talk about it. And it's just going to rumble on and on and on. Well, well who's in a better position? And let me ask you this. Because two weeks ago, we wouldn't have been talking about it. Who's in a better position going forward now, Tottenham and Arsenal? Well, listen, I mean, we're both in a not a great situation, but if I'd say I'd say Spurs are in a better position. I think we've we've got... Well, the, well I just... Harry leaves? Well, I think if Harry leaves, then you're going to have money to spend on a new team. I don't think Arsenal have got a load of money to spend. Manager? I think, yeah, they're going to have a new manager come in with a new philosophy. So it's a complete new rebuild. So I think Spurs now kind of can almost start from scratch again, go again next season, something new, some new ideas. You know, they need to get it right with the manager. They need to make sure it's the perfect guy to, to come in and fit the bill. So, yeah, in terms of, I think Arsenal, look, potentially they can finish above us, but I just, I don't feel like they're a club that's really going to mm. progress over the next few years. Spurs potentially still can, but they just need to, they need to sort out the team. They need a rebuild. Yeah, I, I, I think if Harry Kane, say, and I don't know how you feel about this, Ali, if he does want to leave... Uh, you have, you know, you in the end you have to let him go. You can't begrudge him a move, even though I'm really disappointed how it come out. Um, you know, two days before, two games left, and you bring that out. But if he does go, I don't know if you think if he went to Man United, would you take Martial and Jesse Lingard, and you know, I don't know, thirty, forty million, Ali. Oh, is it, we've lost McCoy. We've lost them. No, no, no. I'm sure. Oh, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, no. I'm just. I'm, it, was, it was a question. I, he's thrown at me right there. I was having a wee think about it. Jamie, Al and I were talking about it on the way in, mate. I, I think Spurs have got a, a a building job ahead of them, which they've probably not had in years and years and years. But we were talking. But they've not got a manager yet, Jamie. Do you know what I mean? So who's the manager that's going to make these decisions? <laughs> And, and, and getting back to your point about Harry Kane, yep, I get it, and I totally understand your disappointment, and, and, and there'll be a lot of Spurs fans in the same boat as you. But in this day and age, mate, are you really surprised? Um, I'm surprised it's come from Harry Kane. I am, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I think he needs to you know, have a word with his brother, who's really? his agent. But, you, you, but the fans want to hear from Harry. Harry, we're all we fed hear, up. We're all, you know. Yeah, but I don't want to hear him saying he he wants out. Why? <laughs> he, he's only been honest. Listen, I've been here long. I've given. Be honest at the end of you. the season. We know that you potentially want to leave, but not when there's two massive games still to play. Because last night's performance was just all about talking and watching Harry Kane. And and by the way, he didn't play that well. So you know, it, it is. I just don't think it's necessary. Plus, as well, when you're looking at Euros, he's Gareth Southgate's got to deal with this as well. It's not just Tottenham. Southgate's going to have to deal with the speculation yeah. surrounding Harry Kane now all summer. His main player in, in the Euros, and we need to step up and be massive for England to try and win a European Championship. His future's up in the air and all this speculation. You no. need someone to be By sort the of way, settled. Jamie, I made that point as well. I mean, I'm, if you're Gareth Southgate, oh, it's the last thing you need. I mean, unless, as I said, unless, you know, there's a deal kind of been done and they're expecting they get it done before the Euros. 
You know that uh, maybe that's I a can't, possibility. I can't. Can you can you see that, Ali? Can you really see that with, uh, with Daniel Levy, with how the market is? Well, do you know something? In this I day don't and see it, it. Well, I hear what you're saying, and I take your point, and, and, and where I am on it, I think the other part of the deal could be done. But Daniel, Daniel Levy might not be the you'll be the one understanding line correctly, but potentially holding things up. I mean, there's every chance that that Harry could have done a deal with United or City or somebody like that. Yeah. Behind the, behind the scenes, yeah, you absolutely. can do something. Yeah, you can do something in principle. But you know, I, me personally, I think Harry Kane will be at Spurs in pre-season. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil, Thursday and Friday morning, six till ten on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.